Hello, this is Mary, Mary Alice Wallace from Longview. I have an important message about mask wearing to share with you today. The CDC and the Washington State Department of Health now recommend wearing cloth face coverings, such as homemade fabric masks in public settings where individuals cannot maintain six feet of distance from others. This would include locations such as grocery stores and pharmacies, especially in areas of significant community-based transmission. Staying home except for essential trips and ensuring you remain at least six feet away from others when in public remain the best ways to protect yourselves from COVID-19. But non-medical masks may be used to supplement those efforts. I'm going to show you some masks today to help you determine which mask would be best for you. Here are two things to consider before deciding whether to wear a mask. Medical masks such as N95 and surgical masks should be reserved for healthcare workers. There has been a shortage of medical masks and it's important healthcare workers have the equipment that they need to safely do their jobs. Homemade fabric masks and other non-medical masks are not a replacement for staying home and limiting contact with others. Masks also do not replace the need to frequently wash hands with soap and water, avoid touching your face with unwashed hands, and stay away from people who are sick. These remain the best ways to stay healthy and prevent the spread of COVID-19. A word of caution as it relates to the use of filtering materials in homemade masks. If you are repurposing some other home filter material, always check with the manufacturer to assess health risks associated with cutting the material or having the material in close proximity to your face. This type of mask is not certified, not approved, not tested to any standards, and not sterile. These types of masks are used at your own risk. When a person who is already infected with the virus, even if they don't have symptoms, wears a fabric mask, it may help prevent the spread of infection to others. The mask can block droplets from spreading when the person coughs, sneezes, or to a lesser degree, speaks. It's unknown how much protection homemade fabric masks provide to the person wearing the mask. The amount of protection may depend on the quality of the mask and how well it fits. This is why fabric masks should not be considered reliable protection, but they may provide some benefit. To be effective, masks should be worn consistently. Be sure to wash hands before putting a fabric mask and be careful not to touch your face with unwashed hands if adjusting the mask. Fabric masks should be changed when moist and washed after use. Masks that are worn may be contaminated. For more information on how to make your own no-sew fabric mask, please visit, www, please visit www.calitzcovid19.com. And remember, we're all in this together.